Hey guys, it's Billy and Bonsai, and thanks for watching this video about how I'm personally navigating reality, and I'd like to share with you some tips or thoughts that I'm having at the moment, and, and to generate a discussion or a dialogue with you about some of the concepts that I'm reading and um, kind of using in my own analysis of my own mind and reality. For every week, I don't really have a plan until I kind of, I kind of generate some ideas. And like in terms of the videos that I do for 58, that process is, is very painful sometimes because sometimes when I make a video, I get really excited because I have an idea and I know exactly what I want to talk about. And the knowledge that I have curated and kind of put together and creates this feeling in me that excites me and really wants me to share. But in between those videos, I have no idea what I'm going to do next. And so in that unknown place, all these, I guess you could say parts of me that are unconscious and they haven't been brought up into my awareness come up. In between the videos, there's a lot of inner work going on. Like right now, I'm between the videos that I just did, the philosophy of war, and about 10 other projects that I want to do or have thoughts about on talking about them and at least sitting with them, you know, kind of letting them stir in my mind. And so the next thing I've been wanting to do is to use the show The Queen's Gambit to express the seven stages of consciousness or the seven bodies that we wear and how we become more in tune with ourselves through this inner work and this attention to our inner life rather than the outer life. And that's been a little difficult because the way I want to present it is there's like an old school way to describe these seven principles of consciousness, but I want to present in a way that everyone can understand and, and get it. Uh, because to me, it's very insightful to how the human body and this technology works in terms of generating and experiencing our own reality. So that stuff to me really is always interesting to me because I feel like there's some there's some natural universal and maybe intrinsic laws of matter that once you understand it makes the game much more enjoyable. Kind of like when you when you start a video game, you know all the laws and the rules, so you know how to follow or at least to stay within the boundaries to either break them or to maintain them in order to create a really powerful experience or video game um, or fun experience. So that's why I think reality is, is like understanding some universal laws and some laws of matter and energy so then you can be able to play in in much more unlimited ways rather than being unknown to these rules and kind of being pushed around and and tossed and abused a little bit more than you need to. So in between these stages of these videos, I go through that and I have to sit in a lot of silence because I feel like a lot of the times my ego wants me to do a video and just do it really quick and fast and be like, bam, um, it's done you did it. But another part of me is like, I think there's a level of depth in my content that I want to express where it can empower your life rather than the same old kind of disposable and meaningless work that I've done in my past in fashion because I was meaningless and didn't have a lot of meaning in my life or felt like that toward myself. So when I go in between these videos, I like to be alone and meditate and kind of connect to the universe or dark matter and make contact with it to find out what my next project or my next expression is going to be. And and then I experience really amazing synchronicities where a book comes into my life or I meet someone that talks about something that leads me to another path that then gets me closer to my next thing. And so that's a really vulnerable and scary place to be because it's like this unknown. But I've realized it's only scary because the unknown is a place where your ego can't live. Like when you're truly alone, the ego cannot see conflict because there's no one else to project its insecurities and its judgments on. So when you're alone, you have to sit with all your darkness and go through that because it can't project it anywhere else. So for me, when I sit alone and think of my next project, I have a lot of negative 
or un unlimiting thoughts about it first because it's something new and my ego is like just get it over with or maybe this is something that you have to do your whole life it's not just something you can encompass in one video and stuff like that so I listen to these projections of myself about something new and I just have to be very observant of it and then sit with that energy and that tension and let that energy stir inside me that then builds into this new state of consciousness so I can receive this new project or this new video or this new expression because that's what I'm realizing what yin and yang and consciousness and energy mean inside of us is that right now this mother love force of this feminine expression has never been experienced on this plane on this planet earth and so right now we are in the unfolding of that happening for the very first time and so our consciousness which isn't fully able to grasp this energy or become one with it because of its own unhealed trauma and abuse and neglect that it becomes hard to express it so like this energy that we're all feeling on the inside we yet don't have this consciousness that's brave enough or in tune with itself enough to then express what we feel on the inside into this masculine physical dimension so like everyone has a lot of feeling and energy inside but there's a a state of consciousness where it's still lacking where it's hard to express it and so I'm realizing that this difficulty that arises in everyone is because it's never been done before to the same level that we are all experiencing collectively it's only been experienced through individuals who have lived for all these lifetimes and feel that this is the one thing they haven't experienced is themselves is this inner feminine unity and because of my work for the past for my whole life I feel like I've this is what I've accumulated over lifetimes to then share this knowledge that I feel very in tune with and guided to express because it always fulfills me on the inside and creates this state of consciousness that's like you have to become one with it so then you can express it as this masculine part of you on this outside physical world so this union is very important because when you express that that feeling with your masculine energy in matter it then heals your soul because your soul is here to give you dreams and symbols to help you experience yourself and what needs to be healed or brought up uh, in order for you to feel complete and whole you know that's what the whole journey is to to heal all these broken fractals that people like to call it so you become a whole person a, in unison and oneness and this work takes a lot of attention and a lot of time so that's why I like doing these videos now because I think any little advice I can give you from where I'm at or maybe that you can give me that you feel and see in me would only benefit each other and I still love doing these bigger videos because they're it's a way for me to process and express a ton of energy that I'm receiving and then being able to share with you that's like a, an experience i really truly find sacred and meaningful to me so i love doing that but i also love connecting more on a singular level and more personally and that's why i've been uh, driven to do these videos because i also feel very um I don't know, I feel like a, a, this desire to connect deeper and more openly and become more of that expression is something that I want to experience now lately. So yeah, so that's why I'm doing these videos and sharing with you um, navigating reality. And I hope this video has added energy to your day and your life. So thank you again for watching and have a great day.